Wow, what's poppin' people? A reaction video like never before. The Red G TV. We on wheels now. Yeah, man. Part two. Academics versus Meek Mills. The verbal abuse is real. Yeah, man. But without further ado, play the motherfucking clip. Fix it, this nigga fucking coffee. Nigga, you like a house slave these days. What's poppin'? So it's all good. Let's talk some facts, though. Okay? Here's the reality of things, people. Meek Mill is as delusional as they come. His issue, if you ask him with me, stems from years ago. He started getting to beef. By the way, I also blew up at that time. I'm not going to lie. That was a major moment. I know some of y'all keep saying Warren Chirac. But the most major moment in me blowing up was 2015 when Drake and Meek Beef erupted. I was the number one person to report on it, and I reported on everything. During me reporting on that uh, um, beef, I've never met Drake. I never talked to Drake. I had limited conversations even with people that was on his team. I spoke a lot to Meek Mill's team. Coon Philly, I don't know if you fuck with Meek anymore, but you remember those conversations. Through conversations with Meek and his, Meek and his team, I realized Meek Mill was nothing more. Me, not because he's rich means he has any type of smarts. He's in half an idiot. And I've always treated him like that because once you realize someone's is barely, you know, even he's barely coherent and he's he, he, he's barely even like barely legible and he could barely even write. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I'll tell you how I came to that conclusion. Meek Mill not understanding what Internet culture is, which to me was shocking, because if you have been popping past 2013, your fans have never purchased a CD of yours, most likely. They have streamed your music. They have consumed it online. They have tweeted it. They have talked about it on social media. That's really how things go. But here's the problem with a nigga like me. He's stupid. He's stupid. And he thinks he's like a rapper in the 90s. Or he thinks he's above everything and that people were always going to fuck with him. That's why when he fell off this time, he was so shocked. He never engaged with internet culture. Meek, I'm giving you, listen, I'm going to get to the roast in you, but I'm telling you why you fell off. I'm telling you why. Listen, I heard the whole situation from motherfucking Atlantic Records. They didn't want to renew your shit. They dropped you. They dropped you like a bad habit. All this, oh, I'm independent shit. Yeah, nigga, they said they wasn't going to sign you because they wasn't going to pay you what, what you were supposed to get. You know why? They knew you were a nigga who was too stubborn. A nigga who kept saying the streets, the streets, the streets. And at the end of the day, the streets don't buy your fucking records, nigga. It's them fans on the internet. But you didn't care about that. That's why you're sitting here like, I'm independent. I'm, I'm giving you the game. That's why you look fucking stupid. So let me continue the story. Meek's team tells me that. The only reason why Drake is winning the beef is because Drake purchased a million bots. Does that sound familiar? Does anybody watch his timeline from yesterday? Has he said the same thing? Here's the sad part about it. He's been saying the same dumb shit for 10 years. That's why it's even more sad. He doesn't learn. He doesn't understand internet culture. He doesn't know that the, the like, if you understand internet culture, if people see you bothered by the trolling, they'll troll you more. He doesn't understand that if you're beefing with a popular rapper like a Drake and he, basically they felt you caught an L because you were low, you're, you're slow to respond and he had a hot song. They're going to spam L's under your comments. This delusional motherfucker was literally saying, Ack, could you could you change up the shit that I could win? That's what this nigga is mad about. You know why it's so surprising? He's sucking Drake's dick now. Drake's bringing him out like a fucking baby. Drake brought him out in Philly like, yeah, look, look, remember when I killed your career? Look, they'll, they'll like you now. Come on, nigga. Come on. <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's the thing I killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, he right there. He's right there. Nigga, you loving it. Your career never been the same. The boy killed your career, brought you back out, and my whole thing is you're smiling like a fucking fan with that nigga, but you're mad at me. But let's go back to the root problem of Meek Mill. He's a gangster who never has gangster energy with the people he should have gangster energy with. 
Drake, he couldn't wait for Drake to say, oh, I'm over it. We could be friends. Oh, my God, Drake, I love you. I love you, Drake. I love you, Drake. I love you. Okay. The niggas in the city that have been calling him out from ARAB to all these other people. Oh, my God. He's acting like he don't know them. Even the nigga who's actually, and I'm going to show y'all, has a picture with him. The nigga who sued him. He had no problem with. I equivalented. Actually, that's my, might not even be a word. Ugh. But me being mad at me over this whole situation, and I'm going to go back and forth. Just keep the, keep the timeline in your head. Me being mad over me in this situation is like a nigga walking in the room, licking his hand, and slapping the fuck out of Meek Mill. When he slaps Meek Mill, I'm like, oh, shit, and I'm laughing. Meek is standing in front of the nigga who slapped him, but Meek turns to me and says, bitch-ass nigga, what's so funny, nigga? What the fuck is so funny, nigga? What's up? What up? What, what you want to do? What, what you want to do? And I'm like, wait, are you mad at me for laughing or you're mad at the nigga who slapped you? The whole time, he ain't acknowledging the nigga who slapped him. The whole time, you know how the story goes? Diddy gossip to a man who's a producer, allegedly, that said he fucked Meek. Meek could have came out and said, what that bitch ass nigga talk, did he talk about me for? Why the hell this bitch ass producer lying on me and Diddy? Never said none of that. You know what he said? Ack, you're the problem. Huh? But let's go back. Let's go back. So I told you about the delusion, right? He said, well, he's only losing the beef with, with Drake because Drake has bought all the bots in the world. I was confused. I was like, huh? Then I see the true nature of Meek Mill. Drake comes to Philly. I showed up to Philly. I had to see it. I said, no way. Meek got to run on stage. This isn't Philly. Like, they're, it's the height of their beef. Meek going to run up on stage and slap Drake. He's a gangster rapper. <laughs> How silly was I believing this ultra superhero gangster image that these guys promote? <laughs> Basically, not a motherfucking thing happened. Drake left very safely. He arrived very safely. Not a hair on his head was harmed. You know what happened the next week? Meek's team calls me again. Joe Ack! You them pussy niggas thought they got us. I'm like, oh shit. Y'all beat up Drake. What's going on? Tell me. Nah, son. What, what are you talking about? Drake? Nah, what? Uh, fuck? Nigga, we called Quinn Miller. Huh? Yeah, we called him. Why y'all telling me this? Yo, man, I told you, man, This we from the trenches, nigga. Like, all that, like, trenches, we from the screes, niggas from Philly. I'm like, what is this guy talking about? Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting the body. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you got to tell him no. <laughs> Why? Hey, man, at this point, I'm starting to feel bad for the boy, man. Somebody hop in the ring with him and help him fight. Y'all got to help the boy fight, man. Y'all got to help old me fight, man. This ain't right, dog. <laughs> this ain't right. I gotta get I gotta get some more pressing issues beside this bullshit, but uh I had I had to run it. I had to run it back twice. I had to come back for a second time. Yeah, stab me like a bad bitch. You gotta go hit that one more time before you leave. You gotta go hit that one more time. Yeah man, I'm in a whip with this bullshit, Jeremy. So yeah, I had to, I had to double back right quick, man. It's raining out here and shit, you dig? Um But yeah, man. Hey, <laughs> What that boy Shanty Shaw say, hey, I ain't gonna complain. This is what we signed up for. <laughs> but yeah, man, besides that, <laughs> yeah, man, we got some dope shit coming soon, man. About to start putting out more music and shit. Had to get everything situated, you dig? So, a lot of music gonna be dropping soon, videos and shit like that, blogs. Yeah, man. Nigga working diligently. Yeah, man. So, Y'all just be expecting everything. I can't even tell you what to be expecting. Just be expecting everything. You dead. Shit don't stop. Reaction video like never before. With Red GTV.